Welcome to Pre-Math. In this video tutorial, we are going to multiply these two given matrices with different dimensions. To get a full understanding of this topic, please watch this video till the very end for additional practice problems. Now let's get started. Let's focus on the left hand side blue matrix. As you can see, this has three rows and two columns. No wonder we call, call it three by two matrix. And on the right, uh, right hand side, the red matrix, it has two rows and three columns. So before we multiply these two matrices, we are going to check the matrix multiplication compatibility. In other words, we want to see can we multiply these two given matrices in order to check the con compatibility let's focus on these interior numbers the inside numbers as you can see that these two numbers are same if these numbers are same then it means yes we can multiply these two given matrices if these two numbers are different then we can't and the next thing we want to check is to find the dimension of our answer or resultant matrix. That means how the answer matrix is going to look like, how many rows and columns that's going to have. To that one, look at these exterior numbers, the numbers, outsiders numbers. Let's look at these one. I want you to match them up, pair them up. So this is going to become 3 by 3. That means our answer matrix is going to have a three rows and three columns. And thus here is the road map of our answer matrix. That means our answer matrix is going to have a three rows and three columns as you can see. Now I am going to show you how to fill out these empty slots over here. For that one let's focus on our left hand side blue matrix look at these this column 8 negative 4 9 that these numbers gonna go in this left hand side very first slot on these next column 5 0 negative 3 these numbers are going into these this slot so let me fill out these numbers so this is going to become simply 8 negative 4 9 and these are going to become 5, 0, negative 3. Likewise, we're going to fill out these blue numbers in these two next columns as well. And here I have nicely filled out these blue numbers in all these columns as you can see. Now let's shift our uh, attention to this right hand side red matrix let's look at this thing this first column seven negative one we are going to make this column as a row and i'm going to write it down seven negative one like this way next one this negative eight three is going to come over here negative eight is going to be here three is going to be over here so this column become row as well and finally this column negative 6 2 I'm gonna put it over here so this is gonna become negative 6 and 2 so now the next step is we are going to filter in this 7 over here negative 1 is going to go over here and likewise so let me show you how we're going to do this thing so this 7 is going to get filtered in across the board okay 7 7 7 here this is going to be a negative 1 negative 1 negative 1 across the board likewise over here negative 8 is going to show up all the way over here 3 is going to show up here negative 6 is going to be over here and finally 2 is going to be over here 
And here is the final product of our answer matrix after filling out all these blue and red numbers. In our next step, we are going to simplify these one. The very first step is I am going to multiply these matrices. 8 times 7 is going to be 56. And then here, 5 times negative 1 is going to be negative 5. And over here, 8 times negative 8 is going to be negative 64, and so on. And here is our new matrix after multiplying these two parentheses. 8 times 7 is 56, and I put those multiplication, I put in a single parentheses. 5 times negative 1 becomes negative 5. 8 times negative 8 becomes negative 64 and likewise over 15 and so on. And here is our matrix after removing these parentheses. As you can see, once I remove these parentheses, this become 56 and positive time negative become negative 5. So I just simply got this matrix and that's pretty much it we are almost done now the next step we are going to add these numbers simplify add and subtract and we will get our answer matrix 56 minus 5 is going to be 51 here negative 64 plus 15 is going to be negative 49 and the next number is going to be negative 38 obviously this is going to be negative 28 here's 32 here's 24 here 66 negative 81 and negative 60 and this is our answer matrix and thus this is our answer matrix that has three rows and three columns. And here is your assignment. Can you do this problem on your own? You can take your time. Luckily, I have already uploaded this video as well. Please go ahead and check it out and see the correct answer. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more ex exciting videos. Bye.